Hello and welcome, I'm Maria Ressa, and this is your Noontime Wrap. The family of Filipino worker Mary Jane Velosa flies to Indonesia to visit her a day after her birthday. The Velosa family last saw her in April 2015 when she faced the death sentence for drug smuggling. Her execution was stopped at the last minute after President Benigno Aquino pleaded with Indonesian President Joko Widodo. Pinabati ko yung aking anak na happy birthday anak. Ito, papunta na kami sa'yo. Uh, ang wish ko po sa birthday na aking anak ngayon, sana po ay makauwi na po siya na makapiling na namin at makapiling na niya yung mga anak niya. Will there be an ISIS province in the Philippines? A new video posted on January 4, 2016 shows terrorist groups from the southern Philippines pledging allegiance together to ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the last of five steps before the declaration of a province or a if wilaya. If this happens, this will be the first recognized satellite of the caliphate in Southeast Asia. Isnilon Hapilon, one of the Abu Sayyaf's key ideologues, seems to have consolidated extremist groups in the Philippines under his leadership. The Philippine military dismisses the group's ISIS connection, saying it is just like a regular criminal gang. Who are the big winners in this year's Golden Globe Awards? Matt Damon takes home the best performance for the film The Martian, while John Hamm wins best performance for hit drama TV series Mad Men. Gael Garcia Bernal wins Best Actor for his performance in comedy TV series Mozart in the Jungle. Rachel Bloom wins Best Actress for comedy TV series Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Follow Rappler.com for continuing updates. And that's the Noontime Wrap. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again at 6 p.m. for today's top news.